YouTube, uh, it's Spider here. I realize I haven't really been doing many videos lately that, you know, of me or anything like that. I, I basically, I guess I just haven't really been in the mood. <laughs> I haven't been feeling it lately. I haven't done a whole lot of vlogging lately. Um, no, I, I just been really kind of down, so, you know, I didn't want to, like, bum people out or anything, but I, uh, yeah, just been kind of bummed, but, I don't know, maybe it's, I'm outside, obviously, you know, sorry about the traffic noise, but it's a nice day, even though it's kind of overcast, but, yeah, I, anyway, I thought I'd just do a video, because people have asked me, you know, regarding my uh, spider tries and everything, they've asked me if there anything that I haven't tried that I'd like to, or anything that looks interesting or whatever, and always, you know, I, I always want to try things, I always want to do new things, that makes me happy, you know, um, and... It's always fun and exciting, even if it's a complete disaster, so... Yeah, I, I would really, you know, that's why I do... That's actually the reason I do my YouTube channel. I don't do it for mass appeal. I mean, I have the mass appeal of, like, a stoma or something. But I... I, I do it because it's fun. It's fun. That's, that's pure and simple. It's the beginning and end of it. And so I... You know, I enjoy doing it. Yeah, it, it's, you know, and, I don't know, sometimes reaching out to people or, you know, connecting and meeting new people, that's, that's fun too, you know, so that's why I do it, and I went off on this weird tangent, but anyway, I'll try and keep this brief because of the traffic, and I don't know even know if you can really even hear me or not, but, yeah, here we go, I, I wrote down a list, I went to the world market today to... I, uh, just to see what kinds of things I can actu actually get from the world market. And, <laughs> of course, it's really expensive, so I obviously I didn't buy anything today. I was just kind of window shopping. And, um, yeah, I just... I found some things there. But then there are other things, too, that I know about. The many more than that are going to appear on this list I've got. But I... Uh, things that I just like to try that I can't get my hands on around here, so, but I'll mention them anyway, not that I actually have any expectations or hopes or anything, but, anyway, I'll start, They're like, one of the things I always wanted to try, I always wanted to try haggis, people say it's like, I mean, I don't know, there seems to be a great divide, like, either you love it or you hate it, and, I don't know, I'm into things like that, I, I, I straddle the fence on so many issues, you know, I, because I try to see everything, you know, I try to see the complete picture instead of just like one side of it or the other, so I don't know whether I can say I'd love it or hate it, like for instance, I tried natto, and that's a hideous food, but in certain circumstances I actually like it, you know, certain, you know, I mean, depending on what it's with, and the, the Wow, idiot. Anyway, and the, uh, the, the kind, you know, I, I will kind of enjoy it. Other times, not so much. So, I know it's, I understand it's an acquired taste. And again, I'm kind of, I, I digress. <laughs> but, yes, that's something I would like to try. But I can't get that around here, to my knowledge. Another thing I'd like to try is uh, Vegemite. <laughs> Apparently it's, um quite the treat in Australia, you know, and I've never been there, and I hear, like, again, from what I understand, people who grew up with it typically seem to really enjoy it, and people who haven't grown up with it typically don't, and I don't want to get into, like, the whole history behind it, because I don't myself know what it is, and I don't want to mislead anyone, but anyway, I, I'd like to try that. I'd also, here's one thing I can get a hold of here, at my local, um, my local Asian market, and they have preserved duck eggs, and they look scary, they look freaking scary, and <laughs> just because of that, based on that alone is the reason I want to try it, 
but yeah, that's one of them. And then these are the things I found at my local world market I'd like to try. They had a, a mix <clears throat> for sweet potato pancakes, which sounds kind of good actually. I'd like to try that. I like sweet potatoes, I like pancakes. See what they're like together, right? Um, another one I, I found in a can. I found a can of spotted dick from England. I can't say that I know exactly what that is, but I'd like to try that too. And then I also found um, a little, a small five pack of Arizona Gunslinger pepper sauce. I like different varieties of hot pepper sauce. The first being jalapeno, which is just, I, I guess it's like the red variety. Then they have chipotle habanero, which is like smoked habanero peppers, so that would be rich in flavor and very hot. <laughs> and they also have green jalapeno, and then they have just plain habanero, and then they have habanero and mango. I'd like to try that too. You know, just all of them at some point. Obviously, regarding hot sauce, I don't know exactly how I want to try it. Like, do I want to try it by itself first and then on something? Or not? I mean, I don't know exactly how I would do a variety pack like that. But I'll come up with something when I eventually get it. So, that's something you don't need to worry about. I'll <laughs> let me do the worrying on that one, right? Um, let's see, another one I want to try. Another thing I want to try is mochi. It's like a Japanese pastry, rather. And what the heck was that? <laughs> but, yeah. And... The ones that I saw there came in three varieties. One was like taro root, and it's like filled with like a paste of taro root. The other one's like a red bean paste. I think I've tried something similar to that before, but I can't be sure, but I'd like to try that too. And then the other one's a paste of green tea, which sounds really good. Um, let's see, the next thing I want to try, uh, I guess it's, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, Paella, I guess. Uh, Valenciana, yellow. It's like it's a Spanish thing. It's like, and I don't know Spanish, so I probably butchered that completely. And I apologize to anyone who knows Spanish for butchering that. But anyway, it's a yellow rice and seafood dinner thing. It's like, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like rice aroni in a way, if you're familiar with that, you know, here in the states. But it's like a whole kit. It comes with like seafood in a pouch, it comes with rice in a pouch, and you know, you boil water and then you put the stuff in there, let it simmer for 20 minutes, and then you're, there you go. It looked really good in the picture, so I want to try that. And the last thing I want to try is the uh, ghost chili, or Naga Delokia pepper sauce. Now, the, the ghost chili is said to be the hottest natural pepper. Wow, thank you. Hottest natural pepper on earth. Not one, you know, not like a man-made thing. It's just, it grows naturally from what I understand. And it's, like, extremely hot. And I want to try that because I could use a good ass-kicking, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, those, that's, that's basically it. That's, like, the smallest I've got. But there's a lot more, but these are just a few things that I did to kind of hold you guys over until I can do a spider tries. And... Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, by the way, it's Mother's Day today, the day I'm shooting this. So, happy Mother's Day to any of you who, you know, may have children and, you know, mothers. Or even if you're, like, if you're, like, pet owners and, you, you know, how your pets become, like, your children. So, you know, that counts, too, in my book. So, happy Mother's Day, and I'll see you guys later.